Welcome back, everybody. I'm Reggie Chapman with your sports history in Minnesota tonight. The twins Simeon Woods Richardson up against the Braves Spencer Schwellenbach on the mound tonight in Minnesota. The two combined for 28 total letters in their last name. No starting pitcher matchup in history has had that many letters in combined last names and stats like that are why I got a degree to talk about sports. Michael Harris, the second has six letters in his last name. Home run is seven letters. This is his eighth of the year. The Braves up 2 nil in the second inning and rolling bottom two at Schwellenbach trying to protect that lead sits down Austin Martin with two on to do just that but the bullpen did give up the lead Rizel Iglesias in the game to try and clean up the mess left by Joe Jimenez in the eighth but Trevor Larnock doubles to tie this game at four so we head to extra innings but here come the Braves who keep finding a way four runs in the tenth inning including this Ramon Lariano two RBI double the Braves hold on to win by a final of eight to six and managed to clinch this series. All right, we have quite the slate of college football in Atlanta this weekend on the flats. The game winning field goal heard and seen around the world is a thing of the past. Head coach Brent Key and Georgia Tech are trying to stay locked in since all their goals are still ahead of them. There's a reason the windshield's a lot bigger than the rearview mirror. I mean, you, you, if you get distracted and you're looking in the rearview mirror the whole time, right, you're going to have a wreck. And, and I've been in a wreck. We've been in a wreck before. And, that's why we've got to keep our focus and our attention uh, looking forward. That's where our goals are. That's where our opportunities are. And that's where we have to stay right now. Meanwhile, their opponent is just 1.8 miles away, and yet they've never played before this upcoming weekend. The Georgia State Panthers with a chance to on Saturday begin year one for head coach Del McGee with a bang. By the way, there's also another game downtown Saturday featuring a couple of college football powerhouses in Georgia and Clemson in the Aflac kickoff game. The paint going down on the field earlier today. I caught up with Peach Bowl Inc. CEO and President Gary Stoke and who helped start this game back in 2008. He says we're in for quite a year in this wonderful sport. I think college football is at the precipice of really exponentially growing. Attendance is going to stay in, in increase because more teams will be in the hunt. So there's more broadcast, which means more promotion mm -hmm. for the game. And because more important games are going to take place through November, viewership's going to go up. Right. So I think attendance and viewerships are going to be at all time high in college football this year. How about let's add to the excitement. The top 30 golfers are in Atlanta this week. The tour championship begins Thursday at East Lake Golf Club on the line. The FedEx Cup and $25 million. Scotty Scheffler will begin the tour championship with a lead of two shots. That's really the benefit of being on top of the FedEx Cup standings. You have a lot of challenges, though, including Roy McIlroy, Xander Shoffley, and Sepp Strzok, who's one of three former Georgia Bulldogs in this field. But uh, yeah, $18 million is what you get if you actually win the event. Okay. What are you doing with that money, Ron? Oh, oh, I got a lot of plans for that. I probably can't <laughs> uh, discuss here on air. <laughs> but if, but if, you don't, if you don't win the, uh, the 18, then you get the, it, rest. the rest of it spread out, so you just got to finish somewhere. And you played up. that course, so you're better than most of us. No, no, I played really, really bad. I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably could have done better. All right. <laughs> hey, we're going to be right back with that final check of your forecast. They say.